they won't be sure of themselves and I think karate can give them that assurance and make them feel like they can. If something happens, they can protect themselves. If they can see themselves start to grow and learn things and get better in life, uh, that's a big achievement for me. Well, the dream has certainly come true for Billy Blanks. He is the reigning world champion. Joining him in a half-mile run are Lofton, Lewis, Walker, and Craig. Marks, set. Well, we have a world-class field here. If this was a sprint, but it isn't. This is the half mile, and it's going to take its toll on each and every one of these runners. This is going to be a fun race to see what happens. I mean, here you have James Lofton, who's out in the lead right now. Herschel Walker, who is a great 60-yard dash and 100-yard dash man, on his shoulder. And then Carl Lewis. Now, here we have a guy who's won four Olympic gold medals in track and field. And none of those medals, Bruce, in this event right here. Yeah, well, that brings up an interesting point. You think Carl Lewis should run away with this event. But actually, his training for the 100 is totally different than what a half-miler would do. He really, he doesn't run any distance whatsoever. No, in a sense, a half-mile run to a sprinter like Carl Lewis is really a marathon, Bruce. It certainly is. Right now, the guy out in the lead is James Lofton, and he's probably the guy that should be out there. He's not only an All-American in track and field and a great wide receiver for Green Bay, but he's also in very good shape. In fact, we saw him in the Super Teams competition not too long ago, run a quarter mile, but he was in great shape. Remember, Bruce, style is so important when you run a race like this, and you can see that each one of these guys try to run pretty, but at this point in the race, all that style is getting ready to start breaking up. You know, the backs are going to start tightening up, the hamstrings are going to start to go, and we'll see what happens. Right now, Herschel Walker is just sort of trying to come up on the shoulder of James Lofton. Did I mention style? Get a load of Billy Blanks here. He's experimenting with all different kinds of running stuff. <laughs> I think he's out of this race. James Lofton has the lead. Herschel Walker second. And Carl Lewis now is making his move on Walker. Carl Lewis in an event foreign to his skills. A longer run, a half-mile run, twice around this 440-yard track. But James Lofton, who was one of the finest quarter-milers in America as a collegiate at Stanford, is lengthening his lead. Yeah, but I wonder what James Lofton is thinking right now. He led the whole race, but right behind him, as he looks over his shoulder, he sees Carl Lewis, the fastest human in the world. And he knows he's got some sort of kick left, but Lofton looks over his left shoulder, sees Lewis coming, and has enough to hold him off. Lewis looks over his shoulder, looks like he's going to be satisfied with second place, but James Lofton wins it. Lengthening that stride, Lofton finishes first. Carl Lewis is second. Here's Herschel Walker finishing third. Roger Craig, the fourth-place finisher, Struggling hard and ready to finish fifth and last is world karate champion Billy Blanks. You have to admit, Blanks really gave it everything he had in that race. Right now, the winner's with the mod. That was a fine run. Now, let me see which one of you guys can talk first. Uh, are you out of breath here? No. <laughs> Carl, how are you feeling? Not either. <laughs> I have two, Thanks, my... two zombies it was here. Harder than the look. <laughs> Congratulations. That's probably the furthest you've run in quite some time. And I'm out. If it wasn't for this, no way would I do it again. <laughs> All right, man. Good luck to you. Carl Lewis putting himself well, finishing second. James Lofton with a very good time gets the 10 points for first, followed by Lewis, Walker, Craig, and Blanks. Now the standings after eight events of the Superstars competition. Carl Lewis.